Good morning everyone. Hope all are fine in your homes. I am Sarala, lecturer in computer science department at Sir CRR degree college for women. Now coming to second BSc third semester computer science paper is object oriented programming using Java. Today's my topic is object oriented programming language. What is object oriented programming language? Object oriented programming language is one of the important programming language which is help to you to develop software programs. What is programming language? Programming language allows programmers to develop software. What is software? Software means set of instructions. Instructions tells to the computer what to do. Programming language mainly divided into three major languages. One is mission level language, assembly level language, high level language. What is mission level language? Language that should be in the form of zeros and ones. Mission level language only understand by the CPU. In this mission level language, humans are not understand because it is in the form of zeros and ones, means bit format. Assembly level language, it is in the form of mnemonics. Example of mnemonic codes are add, sub, div, move, mul, etc. It is the next stage to mission level language. Assembly level language is also known as middle level language. Next, coming to the high level language, it is much closer to human language like English. It is easier to read and can work on many different computer operating systems. High level language is divided into two types. One is procedural language. Second one is object oriented programming language. Today's topic is object oriented programming language. Before going to this topic, we will know about the procedural language. What is procedural language? Procedural language, in this procedural language, programs are divided into functions or modules. Most of the functions use global data. Due to global data, it is less secure. It is only suitable for simple and moderating complex programs. That means small complex program. We can write only simple types of programs. It does not have any access specifier. Data can move freely from functions to function in the system. It means free flow, freely flow of data throughout the program. It means no data access, accessing restrictions, no data hiding. Okay. It follows top-down approach. What is top-down approach? In this approach, we focus on breaking up the problem into small parts. Problem or program into small parts. In this, the communication is less among modules. Examples of top-down approach are C, Pascal, Fortran, basic etc next object oriented programming language object oriented programming language is con mainly concentration on data rather than functions in processor oriented language program is divided into functions but object oriented programming language main concentration is on data rather than functions Object oriented program is a, programming is a good programming approach for real time software design. Object oriented programming was introduced to overcome the flaws in the procedural language. That means problems in the procedural language such as reusability and maintainability. Reusability means once we write the program we can use number of times. It has access specifiers such as public, private, etc. In processor programming language, there is no access specifier. But object oriented programming language, we have access specifiers. Example, public, private, etc. It provides data hiding, data associated with the program. So, security is provided. In object oriented programming, objects can move and communicate with each other through member functions. 
object oriented programming language follows bottom up approach what is bottom up approach in this approach we solve smaller problems and integrate it as whole and complete the solution in this modules must have communication and that means one module to another module we have communication okay examples of uh, bottom up approach are java c++ dot net python etc thank you